Hey, this is Mike with RPS Solar Pumps. We've gotten a lot of solar questions over the last couple of months. Today I'm going to go through those and answer some of the most common questions. Today's question is, what should I look for in a solar water pump? So when looking at solar pumps online, there's a whole range of options available and it can get kind of confusing of what you're getting versus some of the cheaper, lower quality pumps that you can find on Amazon, eBay, a lot of the foreign websites. Why would you want to pay any more when you can get one of these low priced pumps? And the answer is what you're paying for is a higher quality pump with better support. So the lower quality pumps, the really cheap ones, they're either going to use cast iron metal, aluminum or other low quality stainless steels which are going to rust and corrode down in your well. Down your well can be a harsher environment. It can be highly alkaline or acidic depending on your exact soil types and that's going to have an effect on the metal and corrode it over time. A lot of those other pumps are also using lower quality electronics whether it's in the pump or an external controller and we see a lot of failures with those electronics over time due to the harsh environments. And that includes hot temperatures, cold temperatures, all of that has an impact on electronics. And if we're not using high quality electronics, they have a tendency to fail really quickly. Another thing we hear time and time again is the post-sale support. And so a lot of these companies have zero post-sale support. So if you wanna give them a call, make sure you call in the middle of the night because during the day they're usually sleeping because they're in another country. And so if you can get anybody on the phone or on the email, it's gonna be uh, not great instructions as we've seen in the past and heard from other customers. But a majority of the time what we hear is there's just no post-sale support. They're not able to answer questions and they're not able to provide a warranty if anything goes wrong. Usually you have the, say the 30 or 15 day return period, but after that you're out of luck. So while the difference in cost might be a couple of hundred dollars for the cheaper options, the difference in quality is priceless. If you have any solar questions, leave them in the comments below and they'll be featured in a future video or we'll answer them in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're producing new content every week, so hit that notification button and subscribe to the videos to stay up to date on the latest solar pumping news.